as I often say, that it does take a village to take good care of patients with breast cancer, as it does for essentially anybody with a diagnosis of cancer. But in this specific situation, we have a unique situation where breast cancer is an umbrella of many different subtypes of tumor phenotypes, one of them being HER2, for which in 2005, with the outcome becoming available for the adjuvant trials, there was now an FDA indication and a label approval for the use of trastuzumab for patients with early stage HER2 positive breast cancer. And in order to be able to identify these patients, you needed to have a companion test uh, to optimally and accurately identify true positives and true negatives to make sure that, number one, you don't have false positive results and risk giving patients who are unlikely to benefit from trastuzumab, a drug that is not only costly, but also carries some toxicity, such as cardiotoxicity, so you could end up giving patients a, an expensive toxic placebo. And on the other hand, you don't want to have false negatives because you're talking about a drug that has substantially reduced the risk of recurrence and substantially reduced the risk of dying from breast cancer. So accuracy in predictive biomarker testing is critical.